A half century has passed since Earth began moving its burgeoning population into gigantic orbiting space colonies. A new home for mankind, where people are born and raised and die. Nine months ago, the cluster of colonies furthest from the Earth, called Side 3, launched a war of independence against the Earth Federation. A war of rebellion against the Federated Union of Earth. Their attack results in appalling losses. People were horrified by the indescribable atrocities that had been committed in the name of independence. We weren't able to outrun that Xeon ship after all. Unfortunately not. I understand. The use of Minofsky particles has rendered radar and other electronic weaponry inoperative. So even in the age of space war, many situations still call for close-range, hand-to-hand combat tactics. was abandoned at the outbreak of the war. That's why they call it a ghost colony. With its climate control mirrors no longer functioning, Texas Colony has reverted to a barely inhabitable desert region. Originally built as a wildlife preserve and outdoor recreation world, it is now a harsh, barren no-man's land. Only the hardy and the foolhardy ever go there. Focus the solar reflectors on Solomon's space gate. Fire when ready. Two, one, entering focus. Admiral Reveal's fleet is approaching on three fronts. Target the solar ray on the Jeldorva path. Our situation simulator has calculated a reliably precise outcome, showing that we shall destroy half of the Federation's main fleet with one firing. Control panel's nominal. Guidance operations are all green lights, tracking 5x5. Five five. And just firing angle and realign reflectors. Realigning reflectors 4 and 6 and adjusting firing angle. Stand by. What is it? That can't be real. Revio's entire fleet has just vanished into thin air. On this day, in the year UC-0080, at the conclusion of this battle, a lasting treaty of peace was finally signed between the Earth Federation and the Republic of Xeon. The new age had begun. <laughs>